how everything is swollen, growing. Like, bro, everything is fleshy. Dude, this is the dream tank. <laughs> All right, reefers. So Reefa Palooza is over. New tank is thriving, and I came to the Winter Park location. I picked up the Hanna Nitrate Tester. I'm really trying to hone in on my chemistry. As you guys know, I've been making my own water. So I just ran out of my first bucket of salt. Now we're on the second one. People ask me all the time, what do I use? This is the one that I've been using. Um, so it feels pretty good. Um, so knowing it's half the battle. So this is gonna be the very first step to kind of get everything regulated. Illusion Reefer just picked up, he's right here. Picked up a crazy, crazy fish, a beautiful radiant wrasse, which is a fish that I've always wanted. Um, but yeah, and you guys know hair algae has been crazy, crazy, crazy. Got a huge, huge sea hair. So I'm gonna put this in the aquarium when I get home, test some water. We also got some aminos. Um, I'm just trying to grow coral. That's it. That's all I'm trying to do. So let's 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 get going. All right, reefers. So we got the Hannah nitrate checker. I just did a trip to the LFS. I always need epoxy. This is the one that I like. I don't like any other epoxy. This is done for worldwide coral, the green one, teal. Super soft, easy to work with. Um, what else did I pick up? Uh, some phosphate reagent, knowing this half the battle of your aquarium, and then of course some aminos. So I haven't dosed aminos at all in this aquarium, so this is something that we're gonna do. And I'll, and I'll film this so you guys can see. It does really cool uh, green effect. If you guys ever watch Instagram and you see the reefers throw that secret sauce that makes it look crazy, this is what it is. But the biggest thing that I wanted to, to, to try out was, <sighs> sorry I have allergies, is the, the nitrate test checker because I've been using salifer and that thing is garbage. Um, only because it's super hard to see the colors, right? So if you're only at 5 to 10 ppm, all right. But once you get 15, 20, 25, it's literally pink, a little dark pink, a little darker pink. So I can't do that too well. So here we got it. The, tech, the checker. We have the vial. The battery and of course the reagent this looks like it's very simple almost like the the phosphate one so let's read the instructions and then we'll get this puppy started yeah i really hope it's like the phosphate one because i think it's super simple all right so let's read this together that's not the one that i want is that the one no oh here uh okay here we go fill the cuvette with 10 mils of unreacted sample water. Turn it on, put the reagent, uh, shake for two minutes, then hold it seven minutes. So this is literally the phosphate one. It's identical. The difference is the phosphate does a timer for two minutes. Here we're gonna do seven minutes. So I'm gonna put the battery in here that it comes with, and then um, I'll start mixing it all in, all right? All right, reefers, so turn it on, C1, batteries in. Tank water, gotta be careful, no fingerprints. We put it in here, close it. Let that sucker blink, blink. And now we're gonna have to put the reagent when it says C2. Come on, baby, let's go. Oh, she's blinking a lot. Daddy, chill. All right, so it says C2. I do this to push all those chemicals down there. All right, so we got it open. So this is gonna be a fine white powder. If I could get it open. It feels like it has less than the phosphate. 
one. Yeah, there we go. If you guys can see that. All right. So we're gonna open it up, pull it out. Now we're gonna just do this. And then it's gonna be a two minute timer. Alexa set a two minute timer. All right, so now we're just gonna lightly just shake it. We're just gonna shake it. They do sell the little thing that you put it on and it shakes for you. It's pretty cool. I lose everything, so I'm not gonna buy it. It's so cool, it's kind of changing. Vigorously. Vigorously? All right, so we gotta do it vigorously, baby. We gotta mix it in there. We gotta mix her, we gotta mix her. If you guys have used this before, leave a comment. Leave a comment below if you've used this. This is my first time using it. Lucian Reefer's back there watching history being made. Me being the first time ever shaking this up. It looks kind of pink, which is kind of cool. Does the nitrate turn pink? It does. So nitrates, when we do salifer, <laughs> usually are between 25 and 50. So I'm so curious to see what this is going to be. When was the last time we did a water change? About a week ago? Yeah, about a week ago. So it's I'm curious to see what this is going to show because this is going to tell us. This is going to tell us. Um, Hannah's been doing pretty good with her testers. I know we had that hiccup with the magnesium one um, a couple months ago, but the new tester works fine. Um, the phosphate one works great. Uh, alkalinity one works really good. Come on, boys. Shh. All right, so we got some color. We got some Amazing. color. Alexa, how much time is left? How much you say? 30 seconds. There, we got some color in here. That's so pink, look at that. Let me wipe it. This this is already shaking up. Come on, let's be real. All right, we're gonna clean this up. Okay. Alexa, stop. All right, so now. You gotta hold press down until it says seven. I'm gonna hold it until it says seven minutes. Boom, baby, and she's counting down. All right, guys, we will be back um, right before it shows the result. All right, reefers, countdown. We got 19 seconds. This is actually pretty cool because I've been guessing the pink colors in that Salford test kit for years. <laughs> so 10 seconds. Imagine this is like something ridiculous that we're not used to, not expecting. I'm expecting, what do you think? Oh, okay. 25 to 50, right? Because there was say, hella pink. No, I all say right, 20. All right, all right, let's see what that says. I say 20. 50. <gasps> so we were out here, bingo, bingo. <laughs> so we got to lower this. How we got to lower this? I don't know. Big time. Well, I mean, it's such a big tank. Well, we've done like three water changes. Recently. We have, so we gotta do more water changes, clearly. And uh, get the nitrates down. So that'll be the main focus going forward. <laughs> um, Think flow. Think flow? Is what it's causing it. But you know, the corals are happy. I know a reefer that does SPS dominant, I won't say his name. They just did a video on Worldwide Coral, so you probably know who I'm talking about. Well, crazy, crazy tank. Just say who it is. Um, I won't, but his, he, he said his nitrates were 80 and he, it's all SPS colored, beautiful. So not that I don't take this too serious. The colas are happy, nothing's freaking out. I mean, it's fine, but I am gonna work on lowering this. So, all right, so what I'm also gonna do, look at this. It ain't supposed to be that pink. It ain't supposed to be this pink. For 50, yeah. That was way too pink. Um, I guess the Salford test kit were, we're good. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right, so I'm going to clean this out, clean up a little bit, and then we're going to try to dose a little bit of this. So this is your aminos. I'm not going to be doing this every single day, maybe once a week, Should once we every other week. Should we do that if the nitrates are high? Um, probably not, but for the sake of the video, we're going to do a little bit just to show what it looks like because it's actually pretty cool, and um, the corals do enjoy it. So let's clean up, and then we'll do that next. Five to what? 20 max, and you're at 50. And look how ev how everything is swollen, growing. Like, bro, everything is fleshy. Dude, this is the dream tank. 
Here we have the Aminos Red Sea Reef Energy Plus AB. We're gonna do about 25 mils. So, you wanna be careful you don't overdo it, and this does have to stay refrigerated after you open it. All right, we'll just do 20 just to be safe. So it's so funny, when this first came out, Everybody on Instagram was freaking out because when you put it in there, it creates this crazy illusion. And for the longest, nobody knew what it was. But this is really good. It does help with your coral speeding receptors and get some ready to eat. Check that out. A little bit spicy. So you don't want to do this multiple times a week. Heck, maybe even every other week. Um, depending on your aquarium and your and your bio load and, and all the beneficial bacteria. I have had this in the past, um, create a little uh, algae bloom. So it all depends on your tank. The lights have been on maybe about two hours. A lot of reefers do this right before lights out because as we know, a lot of the corals feed at night for the sake of the video. Um, we did it a little earlier, nothing like the tames with a little morning slap fest. But yeah, Reefers, put a comment down below if you do use this product. I'm a fan of it, I've used it for a while. Let me know what you think. All right, Reefers, so it's been about an hour since I put the AB Plus. We're getting great polyp extension. There's a little bit of glare right now going on. A couple focuses for this tank is I'm going to want to get more zoanthids. As you can see, I have a lot of real estate right over here that I could add some. So I definitely want to add some zoanthids to the aquarium, get everything filled in. I did add a little candy cane garden in the back recently. For me, those have been really hard to find. So when I found them, I picked up three frags. Um... The neon one is right here doing great. If you guys remember, I used to have one that was the size of a golf ball. It was, I mean, uh, like a mini basketball. It was huge. Quick question. I posted this on Instagram. What is that? Cool. I got that in a mystery pack, I believe. Almost looks like a Ghani. I looked online. Maybe it's a Galaxia, but it has really long polyp extension. Whenever... It's closed up, it looks like a Cyphastria. So when it's closed up, it literally, um, it's just flat. So since I did that first test, it's been about a week. We've done about two nice water changes um, every couple days and right now we're at 25.5. So the goal ideally is to be between 10 to 20 in my opinion. 15 is perfect in my opinion. So we're gonna keep working on lowering the nitrates um, I got a big sea hair in here eating a lot of the hair algae. Um, I got a couple new corals, which I'll show you guys. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're just working on lowering this. This test is awesome. I mean, it's super clear, super concise. We're not guessing, but I'm going to get back to working in this tank. All right, reefers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Zoa Tank Boys. You know, I can't end this comment. What? I said, I know we can't leave this comment. Are you filming? Yes. So I can't end this video without giving one of you guys a shout out. So I'm going to put that comment right here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. It lets me know that you like what you're seeing. Till next time, Zoa Tank Boys out.